Hey, it's Alex with alextucker.ca, and today we're going to talk about Groove Pages. This will be my Groove Pages review, uh, as well as kind of a demo and walkthrough of Groove Pages. So if you're not familiar with it yet, Groove Pages is the page builder slash website builder that is part of the Groove Funnels suite of web apps. Now, Groove Funnels is uh, a system or a, a grouping of uh, different web apps managed by Groove Digital, which is going to be competing with the likes of Kartra and ClickFunnels and Infusionsoft. Uh, in fact, it's already doing a pretty good job of competing with them based on my understanding. And uh, I've been having a lot of fun using it. I'm a lifetime GrooveFunnels member, which means I have full unrestricted access to make as many websites as I want with Groove Pages. And as you can see, I've got a couple here that I just kind of did for um, fun to kind of get to know the system. And then I've got one here that I ha that is currently live. And then I've got two that I'm working on for the future. But it's important to note that you can get Groove Pages Lite when you get the free version of Groove Funnels, and there will be a link in the description that you can use to go and get Groove Funnels for free. And if you sign up using that link, if you sign up using my affiliate link, then uh, I will give you free access to my web design and SEO course, which is being built partially using Groove Pages. So uh, you'll get a lot of benefit out of the free software and you'll get uh, some education around how to best use it. All right, so let's just take a quick look at this. I'm inside my GrooveFunnels account, which you understand if you've seen my other GrooveFunnels videos, and I've clicked on Groove Pages, and this is basically the main page for Groove Pages. You come here and it'll show you any websites that you already have built. And then up here in the right corner, I can always go to New Site, this little drop down menu right here, uh, you can do a bunch of things with this, but the main thing that is important is if you want to integrate anything such as an autoresponder or email marketing service or Zapier, then you would go to my integrations right here and that's how you would do that. And uh, right over here is the link back to the main GrooveFunnels page, but uh, I wanna stay right here. And I'm just going to quickly show you some of the websites that I've built make, uh, using Groove Pages. So first of all, let's take a look at this one. This is a, a live landing page that I drive traffic to um, in order to promote Groove Funnels, and uh, it's uh, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not that satisfied with it. It was kind of a quick first attempt, and it's very basic, but it's been working okay for me. Uh, but I do want to completely redesign it. And uh, so that's just kind of a quick look at that one. And then this is one that I'm a bit more proud of. Uh, I built this page from scratch. Uh, the other one I used a template and I modified it, but I'm pretty sure I built this one from scratch. And this is kind of for a uh, new company website that I'm planning for my business. And so it's, uh, it's just basically a template that I built right now, but uh, it's, ready to go basically as far as soon as I put content into it and uh, let's see this is uh, a neat one this is a uh, just kind of a landing page for a PDF giveaway to get people to sign up and uh, potentially sign up for a Clickbank course and This is one that I'm working on right now. Uh, I modified a template to make this, but uh, like the image is unique. It's from a, a stock photo service that I use and the text is all unique. And I completely changed the way it looks, to be honest. This part I didn't change as much, but I did modify it. And uh, below here, I haven't really changed much, but that's that one. And take a look at one last project. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this one. Now you'll notice I didn't really use very nice colors for this. I just sort of used the default grayscale colors, but um, I really like the shape of the top of this. And I, I also like the way the elements are set up as it goes down. 
and uh, I'm either going to use this one for myself, or I might I might use this to replace my current Guru Funnels promotion landing page, or I might give this to someone who uh, purchased uh, Guru Funnels through my link, um, because I really like to take care of the people that uh, sign up uh, using my link. And I've had a few people purchase it, so purchase the, the uh, platinum upgrade so far. Uh, and I get a pretty nice commission when someone does that. So I like to help anyone who does that out as much as I can. And so I might give this landing page or another one. Uh, I'm just kind of building a lot of different landing pages and we'll make some of them available to some of the people that have uh, signed up through my link. All right. So that's that. And I think we'll just walk through quickly how to make a new site. Uh, not how to launch it and everything, but just sort of how to get started. So you just click on new site up here in the top right corner, and then you can either select a template, which is what I would really recommend. Um, if you're if you're a beginner, um, I would recommend starting with a template and just modifying it as little as possible, because it should be pretty well responsive, so it looks good on all devices. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, just look at all these, all of these templates that I have access to that come with the GrooveFunnels Platinum upgrade. You get a few of them with the free account, but uh, most of them I think are only, I think maybe there's like 30 in the free account and then you get all of them and you get more every Friday with the uh, Platinum upgrade. Uh, but we'll just go to blank templates for now so I can show you a few more things right here. So, uh, in order to add uh, blocks, which are kind of the foundational elements of the page, you click on blocks and you can either use designed blocks, which look like these. Um, these are alert bars. You can see that they're styled and everything. So uh, if you find one that you like the looks of, then you can use those. And if you're not really finding one that you like the looks of, then you can use wireframes instead. This is what I usually work with to get started. And, uh, Let's see, like here's the navigation bars. You can see they're very plain looking, um, but you can just grab it and drag and drop. And it's just gonna take a moment to load in. And then I can select this. If I wanted to change the color of it, I can do that right here. Um, that looks interesting. And then if I wanna modify individual elements, I can click on them and do things like change the button text. And then maybe I wanna add uh, a design block this time. Maybe I want a nice call to action or a, uh, what do I want? I'm not seeing what I want. This is why I prefer the wireframes. Um, here we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe I want something like this, right? But I'm going to need to change the background color or so I get rid of this background image and then I can change the background color to a nice shade of blue. And then I can click on this image, get rid of it and replace it with one of myself. I would, of course, use a better image here that uh, would actually fit, but you know, it's just not, it's not difficult to shrink them if you need to and move them around if you need to. See, it's pretty easy. You can even make it a bit of a rounded image. I think that's pretty simple. Or no, I guess you have to use the rounded image. They have a specific rounded image module. Oh no, the corners are a little bit rounded there. Um, I think I can make it a completely rounded image though. Okay, screwed that up. There we go, here we go. Now I've got a nice little round image of myself and 
Um, I would just need to change this text and I'd have a form right here. And because I just used pre-made blocks, this actually looks pretty good on mobile. Like actually it looks perfect on all the screen sizes or that one could be modified a little bit, but it looks good on all the screen sizes basically. Um, so that was really easy. And now I could just go, okay, maybe next I want, um, maybe next I want a different kind of call to action. So I'll drag and drop this block down here. And like, if you want to scroll up and down, you just need to hold it close to the top or the bottom and it'll scroll for you. And then we just wait until you see it say, drop your block here. And then you let it go and it'll load in right where it's supposed to be. And that actually works kind of nicely. And so I could have that. And then maybe I just need a footer after that. Or maybe I want some testimonials. Testimonials are always good. What people say. It's being a little bit finicky here. But so if, if it's doing this, if it's making, so actually I had it there. I could just drop it, but I'm gonna show you. If it's doing this and it's hard to put it where you want it, just drop it somewhere nearby and then you can click on it and then get this button right here to move it. Oh, no, I had the wrong thing selected. So make sure you have the full element selected Then click on this little button right here to move it. And then I can just drag it down to where I actually want it to go. And so we got the testimonials and then I'll put in a footer. Maybe we'll use this big fancy one. And uh, I don't need my trick this time. I just put it right where I want it. And I would just have to add my links and change all the colors, change all the content. And then I would have a nice uh, web page that I just made out of uh, basically nothing in like five minutes right there. So I'm just going to save that. Maybe I'll work with it in a later video again and I'll exit out. And you see, there's my new site. I didn't take the time to name it. So it's just called my new site. And you can see it looks pretty nice right there. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Remember to sign up for your free account using my link. Uh, Groove Funnels is really a solid platform despite how young it is. And uh, I'm really enjoying getting to know it and working with it. And I'm really looking forward to starting to promote my own products using it. Uh, I have a SEO and web design course that I'm currently developing. So reach out to me if you're interested in that. Reach out to me if you have any questions about Groove Funnels or Groove Pages. And uh, leave me a comment letting me know uh, what you thought of this video. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later.